Hey, what's going on guys? Foodless is back and today we're making a fork and knife meatloaf sandwich. Fork and knife meaning that's what it's gonna take to eat this sandwich. We're not gonna use traditional bread. We're gonna make potato pancakes and it's gonna be smothered in beefy jus, sour cream. It's a meatloaf sandwich foodless style. Stick around, I'll show you how. This is a two and a half pound chuck roast that I ground yesterday. I trimmed it up really good, took all of the fat off because I want this to be a really lean meatloaf. We're gonna make a jus and I wanna make sure that I'm not making jus out of a bunch of fat drippings. Now you could obviously use store-bought ground beef. I like to grind my own beef about 90% of the time and there's a couple reasons why. First, when you buy store-bought ground beef, it typically doesn't list the farm that it came from unless it's organic. So you never really know if the farm uses inhumane practices. And it also doesn't show you what part of the cow it came from, nor does it list how many cows were used to make it. Besides, it's always fresher and more cost effective. You can always choose exactly what cut of meat you want to use and you can play around with different variations of fat versus lean content. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're committed to putting out weekly kitchen content. Come on by, check us out whenever you like. For our meatloaf recipe, we're gonna start by softening down a half a cup of finely diced carrots and three quarters of a cup of diced onions. Now we'll set it aside and let it cool. All right, let's make this meatloaf. We'll start with some garlic powder, a little smoked paprika, a little cayenne pepper, a pinch of salt, cracked pepper, a nice good handful of some chopped parsley. Here's our carrots and onions, one whole egg, about a quarter cup of some Italian breadcrumbs. A few dashes of some Worcestershire. And I'll just mix this with my hands. This is just a little love pan that I've lined with some pan coating. I'm not gonna put anything on top of this yet because I'm gonna make a jus with the drippings. And we'll bake this at 350 and we'll check it in about an hour. Now for our potato pancakes, which is gonna substitute for our bread. I have about six medium-sized Yukon Gold potatoes that I grated with a box grater. There's still quite a bit of liquid in here and I need to get this liquid out. I'm gonna use this kitchen towel to strain all the liquid out of the potatoes. We'll dump all this water out, but we're gonna keep that white substance, the potato starch at the bottom. That's gonna help with our binding. Now we have these nice dry potatoes. I'm gonna season them with salt and pepper. Good handful of some chopped parsley. About a tablespoon of some chopped garlic. This is one beaten egg. Garlic powder. And of course, a little paprika. I have four potato pancakes here. We're gonna make two sandwiches. I laid them out on a parchment lined sheet pan. I'm just gonna smash these down with my hands. Now let's get this bad boy in the oven and get the rest of this dish put together. 